Hello everyone. As promised, I'm going to go over all the mods that I'm using. Uh, I've gotten this question a lot since I've started building with them and figured it'd be easier to have a video instead of just giving you a list and saying, you know, have at it. So I'll probably post one of these um, every few weeks or so because new mods come up all the time and sometimes I'll have someone recommend a mod to me that I start using a good bit. Like uh, I have some now that I use all the time that were recommended to me which I'll give shoutouts as I go through the list. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the list of mods that I use. Now, when it comes to mods, um, I've said this a few times, but I'm just going to say it again. I don't use mods that alter the gameplay, like the ones that will you can just spawn a weapon or spawn armor or whatever. I don't like using those because that takes away from the whole premise of the game, which is open world and scavenging. I primarily use mods for decorating, not building decorating. I have used some for building, but consistently I use the ones that give you more decoration items. Uh, I like to play the game as vanilla as possible, so uh, the perfect mod for me is one that takes something that you can already do in the game and just make it easier. So the perfect example of that is the do-it-yourself mod. Now before, I would just decorate with this shelf here and then collect a bunch of junk, throw it on the ground, go into workshop mode, and then glitch it onto those shelves. And it wasn't always accurate, uh, or I didn't get it as full as I wanted it to, but with the do-it-yourself mod, you take the same shelves, and all of these actually snap together, which is really cool, and then you can fill them up with what they call clutter. Um, and it's just different items, they have ammo, weapons, decorations, tools, all kinds of stuff, which acts as a solution to something that would take you normally like an hour, and changes it to like two seconds. Plus it gives you all kinds of different shelves and counters that you can use, even refrigerators. It's just overall a great mod and I highly recommend using it. Okay, so let's go back to the list. I'm just going to start from the top. I kind of got sidetracked there for a second. Uh, so the snap and build mod. I don't really use this one very much. I did make a full video kind of showcasing this mod, but that was just to show you what can be built with mods. I really only use these doorways because they work so well on the inside and making different rooms. And I feel like we should have this already, but what can you do? They do have some really cool pieces in this mod. Uh, I just don't build with them because I know some of you don't use mods or don't have access to mods and I don't like building things that you guys can't replicate. For the most part, because I do use a lot of decorations and if you don't have access to mods then you have to supplement. Now having said all that, there are a f like a couple of pieces in here that I use. From the posts and columns is really just uh, this piece here. It clips closer to walls a little bit better, and also this one. I'll use these just because they look really cool, and we essentially have some very similar to this, but I think these work a little bit better. And it's raining. Hang on, just a sec. Oh, this would be a good time to show you this mod. Uh, so the whole reason why I use this mod called the Cheat Terminal is you'll see the whole reason. It. And look at it. Clear, sunny skies, no more rain. Saves me so much time. That's the whole reason why. And I know I just said that I don't like using mods that alter the game, and I literally just went in here to game alterations, but I think changing the weather is slightly different than spawning a mini nuke minigun. Just, just saying. But I might as well talk about it while I'm in here. So, this is the cheat terminal. It's just a hollow tape that gives you, I mean, you can spawn anything. Weapons, ammo, armor. Um, oh, I did forget about this. I use this for crafts and like materials. Um, I, so I could totally go to, to Diamond City and just, you know, do the whole caps glitch and buy a bunch of shipments and wait 48 hours and just continue do that whole thing just to get a lot of materials. But it's so much easier <laughs> to just use a mod that just gives you whatever you need I don't really feel like that's cheating the game too much because it just saves you so much time and then you can go and build all this amazing stuff. Um, that's my justification for it anyway. Um, but yeah, that's the main other reason why I use this mod. So those two things, clearing the weather and getting all of uh, basically unlimited materials. It's a full list, it's fantastic. Um, and it's also a great mod, I haven't had any issues with this so far. But there is one more that's very similar to this, it's called the Cheat Room, which is essentially the same thing except it gives you a location on your map. And it's just a vault that you go into and it has all of these different rooms that are filled with just about every item in the game. 
and some like cheat items and different things like that. So I'm not gonna go. Keep in mind, this is like a brief overview of all these mods, so it's not like a full extensive. Here's what all this mod has. I just kind of want to tell you the basics of the mod and why I use it. For example, the unofficial patch mod. You know, it says that it fixes a lot of bugs within the game, uh, a lot of quest-related bugs, things like that, which I haven't really experienced. But I figured, why not? It's high-rated and one of the most popular ones, so couldn't hurt anything. Okay, so the Gruffy DDs signs and posters and signs of times. I use these so much. I mean, they're essentially the same thing. The signs of times is just kind of like an add-on, and it gives you a little bit more. And I actually have. See, I was going to record the same kind of video like a week or so ago, but halfway through it I thought it was pretty boring, so I just decided to stop. Um, but yeah, so this is what I have from that other video. And this isn't even, I think this is like a quarter of the signs that come with these mods combined. And it's really cool because it gives you all of the wall hangings, all the posters. It's just a bunch of different signs that you have from businesses throughout the Commonwealth. I can just go into the menu and show you. They split them up between wall signs and ground and roof. So I would say these, these are the wall signs and it's just, again, businesses throughout the Commonwealth, all these little stuff that you can put like beside the door. I love these. I use them a lot if you notice throughout my settlements and my decoration videos. Um, and they have a few different ones to it. They're all just either labeling or um, they split it up between like art, business, uh, food and drink, health and safety. It's just all of these really cool different pieces. And this is just with the signs and posters mod. If you download the signs of the times, it's essentially the same layout, they just give you more. More posters, more wall signs, all of that. Um, and these are very similar to the ones that Bethesda gave us. They just don't have the lights to them, so they look a little more rugged and which works for like bedrooms or different things like that if you know you're building something that doesn't look as fancy I just love this mod so much it's right up there with the do-it-yourself mod so if you do have access to them I highly recommend this one okay moving on moving on moving on moving on alright so the old world plaids this was actually who, who told me about this one it was Captain Purr told me about this and I, I, ever since then, I started using it. It's fantastic. It's, do I have them over here? Let me see. Let me see. No, I do not. But this would be a cool, p whoa. What's going on with my menu? Let's just go back. Yep, don't know what happened there. I'll just do this over here. But okay, so the mod gives you these different types of beds, but the biggest thing about it is it gives you a bunch of different textures for all of the furniture that we have already. Like the chairs, the tables, even the grills, they just give you so much stuff. And the best part about it is that it all fits the aesthetic for the most part. There's some that I'm just not a fan of, but there is a ton to choose from. And they don't look too crisp or too clean, they just, they fit so well. I used a lot of these throughout my boxcar and trailer park build. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to use them throughout most of my decorations. It's just, it's hard to say no to these pieces. Like, my favorite ones are these armchairs. Now, they've done it for most of these pieces, so I'm not going to show you all of them, but like, this one is perfect. It looks just like something that they could have found in the Commonwealth and just brought back. And, let's see, what else? They, they added in some rugs, which some of them make your eyes bleed, or so I'm told. Um, but they do look pretty cool. They're not tattered up or anything, but they still give you like a cool little design for the floors. And they also give you curtains. I'm sure you guys noticed those in my last vault video. I, I used them a good bit in there. But they're, they're really cool. They give you, it's like the same kind of design as the rugs here. And they just clip to the wall and add a little bit more character to your doorways. I can talk about this mod like all day. Um, so thank you Captain Purr for the recommendation. I use it all the time. It's a great mod. Oh, I forgot to show you the tables. So, this is the normal table right here. And this mod also adds in all the different types of colors and textures for these same tables. And they do it for all the items that we have, which is pretty great. The only problem is that if you're looking for one thing in particular, you have to scroll through all of these really cool pieces just to find it. And which can be quite tedious if, you know, you just want to find, like, say, this. Which is not a bad problem to have, 
Some of the other mods that I used were the same way, and then they did an update and decided to use their own tab, which made it a lot easier. So hopefully, Old World Plaids will do the same thing, like Elven Blossom and the other one, yeah. Speaking of which, let's move on to the next one. The next one is 12 Potted Trees. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. The mod gives you 12 trees that you can decorate with. And they work very well. You don't really notice that they're there. They just kind of fill in the gaps and they look really natural and organic. Except for the big ones. See, I don't like that one. It's too... It's too bushy, too green. It's not really, not really for me. Uh, but there's a, uh, I think there's like three or four that I use, um, especially that one, and, and that one. Yep, I use that one a good bit, and this one. Those are the three main ones that I use. Um, and those of you who follow me a good bit, you know that I like to use these little potted plants that um, Bethesda gave us. Really, just this one. So. I like having more options to kind of put these around in my settlements. So it's a very small, very simple mod to have, but I really like it a lot. Moving on, the next one is Don't Call Me Settler. I don't know a whole lot about this one. All I know is that it is great. Who told me about this? It was Meme Fesser. Right? Yeah, Meme, meme Fesser. Uh, this one's really cool. It, what it does uh, is, if you notice with your settlers, they all look the same essentially they, and they're all named settler so this one gives them a name and it gives them a little bit different of a look and I mean they dress differently it's just kind of like a whole character coming to your settlement instead of just like a, you know a clone of all the ones that you already have which is really cool and I really like that but it has a lot of other features and a lot more control over the settlers that you get let me just go into the pit boy and show you it's just a hollow tape that you pull up and Say for example, there's a bunch of corpses in your settlement that you can't get rid of. If you go to the toolbox, you can click on burn, baby, burn, and it essentially gets rid of all the corpses in your settlement. Which is fantastic, because there's nothing worse than building something and there's just a bunch of bodies laying around. Unless you're a sociopath, in which case this mod might not really be for you. But you can also call unassigned settlers to you, which allows you to assign them to things without having to go look for them. It's just full control over your settlers. You can change the gender ratio, you can change the spawn rate. There's all kinds of stuff that you don't think that you would use, but I actually use it a good bit. So, thank you Meme Fester, I really appreciate the recommendation. Okay, moving on. I've um, got a few more to talk about, not too many more. The next one is going to be... What is it? Uh, pocket vehicles. Okay, this one I don't really use it for the main purpose. Uh, it's it's kind of a glitchy mod because um, it, it basically, if you go into your aid menu, you have these activate different cars or different um, like a UFO, um, and you assign those to your favorite key. Otherwise, it won't work and it completely glitches the game out. But if you click on it. It turns you into a UFO, which allows you to travel very quickly, and then also into the sky. But so you move so fast that the game can't keep up with this. So if you move fast enough, it will freeze and then have to wait for everything to load. The whole reason why I have this mod and why I use it, so I go into first person view like this, and then I can get a better view of my settlements. Since we don't have like the free camera on the console, I just like using this so I can get a really cool shot like I'm doing here. You've seen this on the past couple of videos that I've done when I do a settlement tour. So I show you all throughout the settlement on the ground and then I go up in the air like this and it looks really cool. Um, it's just, you can get different screenshots up here and it, I, I don't know, I just think it looks really cool looking down at your settlement and being able to judge where you need certain things. But that's all I really use it for. Okay, moving on. Moving on, moving on. The next one pertains to Vault 88, and I have another one that's very similar to it, but I'm gonna talk about this one first. It's uh, Vault 88 Enhanced. And what this does, it a lot of different things for just the Vault settlement. It gives you more room, it greatly increases your build limit, so you can build a lot more in there. You get more Vault items, furniture, and one of the biggest parts, and the whole reason why I really downloaded this one, is that it gives you different rooms. So whenever you go, let's go into the uh, vault menu. 
I didn't like how we only had like four rooms to choose from. So this one gives you a bunch of different wallpapers and floor to choose from. So this is like a luxury area. If you can, can you see that? There's the sun. No, well, you can kind of see it. So we have a, all the pieces are the same. They just have different wallpapers and different floors, which is very useful if you're trying to build a lot of rooms and make them look different from each other. There's a few more in here, like this red one and the barber. This is one of my favorite ones. Really cool, very simple. And like the bathroom, there's a bathroom. Laboratory, this one. You also get different pieces. Uh, so if you go into like the furniture tab, there's a vault tech uh, enhanced tab there that has a few different chairs and you know uh, containers, stuff like that. Um, and then you go into the decorations here. And the vault tech enhanced, and it just has a few different you know, signs and banners. You see how it's purple right here? That just, the mod is glitching out. That's the whole thing. You can't really fix that. Or at least I don't know how to fix it. It's something that the developer has to do. Um, but yeah, all these different signs. It's, it's cool. It just, the main reason why I have that is for the rooms. There's another mod just like that one that I have. Um, it's further down the list, so I'll show you in a little bit. The next one is Better Stores. Okay, I love this one. Um, this is where I get a lot of the, the neon signs. I had a few... I think at least one person asked me where I got those. So if you go into here, it has its own tab. And so you have all these different counters, which these are the same. I don't know why there's so many different ones of the same thing. I don't think they do anything different. But they give us cafe countertops, uh, other ones like this that snap together, which is really cool. That's, oh, that's the wrong piece. Hang on. And there is that. Which looks really good. I'm sure you could rug glitch a store in, in between there. Um, which there is another mod that I use for stores that I'll show you in just a little bit. Uh, some more counters with sinks and everything. Looks really cool. Here are the neon signs that I use. They actually work really well and there's a lot to choose from. They also have uh, where you can put like bars on top if you wanted to, like this. So you can have horizontal or vertical ones. And even like arrows, stuff like that. I just love these so much. They just add a little bit to your shops. I like that they brought out the vanilla pieces like this and made them into their own signs and plus gave us some more, so that's really cool. Um, it's just a very well thought out mod. I love having the med kits that you can place on the wall or on the side of the counter. It just looks really neat. And I mean, just a bunch of different things to choose from. They have, where is it? Let's see. Oh, here it is. The Nuka Cola refrigerator absolutely love it anything nuka cola i am a big fan of and then here's the barber pole that just snaps into the wall and just a few different pieces it's, it's really cool and this is pretty neat you can just place down a guard dog and there you go it just wanders around your settlement i don't know if you have to assign them to something to get the defense points but it still looks pretty cool just to have just to spawn a dog and lastly, they give you different barber chairs and surgery chairs. So you can just use all of these that do the same thing. They look pretty neat if you just don't want to use the same one like that one. It, it fits better than just like the wooden chair. Overall, it's just a well thought out mod to have. Okay, just a couple more. I know I've said that a few times, but I mean it this time. Just a couple more. The next one on the list. Um, well, Here's the other Vault 88 one. It essentially does the same thing as that one. It's about the same, not much to talk about there. Uh, now the Elven Blossoms item. I love this mod. It goes hand in hand with the decorations and furniture expansion pack mod. Uh, those two are a must if you're doing it for decorations. So it has its own tab, and I'm not gonna go through all of these, but it just gives you different types of fences, more furniture, like here are the bathroom items that I used. Uh, just a lot of really cool small stuff that adds a lot to your settlements uh, that you don't really see from other mods like this gurney. Love this. But it's pretty much the same layout as the other tabs that we have, just decorations. And the defense tab gives you a computer and a chair that you can place on a table and then assign somebody and it gives you more defense which looks really cool. But what I really want to show you are the stores. Now these act just like the vanilla stores that we have, except they look a lot cooler. And each one, say the armor store has like the power armor station behind it, each one has different pieces behind it that relate to what kind of shop it is. And what's really neat 
is so let's say you have this and the Gruffy DDs, you can put a sign on the front right here, or even the neon signs from the other mod I showed you, and just really kind of make it your own. So for example, they just added in the cash register that acts just like the store. Now this is what I think Bethesda should have gave us before, just the cash register so we can place it and make our own shops instead of just having these little stands. So you can use this cash register and then combine it with any other piece that you want to. It could be from different mods or even tables. I mean, you can put it on anything. Like, let me go to the do-it-yourself mod. This is a good example. So I can place down a counter over here. And let's do this one and then snap a smaller one. And then put the cash register on top of it. And then I can fill up the backside of the counter. So with just different things, this just makes it look more realistic. Because I couldn't do that with the other counter, so I'm just using, I'm mixing up the different mods. And then you can put a sign on the front, and then you have your own store. I just love this stuff because it allows for more creativity and really doesn't take away from building at all, it just adds to it. And there's one more piece in here that I really like to use. It's the full kitchen, so if you used, where is it? Um, oh. There it is. Um, so if you scrapped all these pieces like I did in your sanctuary houses, you can add them back in. So it's a really useful mod. Uh, okay, moving on to the decorations, furniture, and expansion pack mod. Same thing. It's the same exact layout. Furniture, decorations, landscaping. And all it does is just give you way more items to decorate with. It separates them into institute pieces, pre-war, vault. I mean, it's just loaded with different decorations. It's just a great mod to have. And the last mod on the list is, uh, it goes hand in hand with the Do It Your Shelf mod. It is called Dino's Decorations. Now I just learned about this one, uh, Lewis was the one that told me, so thank you Lewis, I really appreciate it. Um, it doesn't work exactly like the Do It Your Shelf mod, it is within the same tab and same category. But all it does is add on different grouped items together. Just like so. So I can put these on top of counters, I can't really put them inside of it. Which is still very beneficial. You have more freedom, they don't snap on top like the do-it-yourself mod does. You can place them wherever you want to, which is very beneficial, and there's just so much to choose from. Like... this... where is it? Oh, right here. I could probably place that tray down and then put the teapot and cup on top of it, and it wouldn't take too long, but this mod just saves you from having to do all that. So thanks Lewis for the recommendation, I really appreciate it. If you guys have any more you want me to check out, please let me know. I always look them up, so I really appreciate it. But thanks for stopping by, stick around for the end of this video, I'm going to have the full list of all the mods that I use as a reference point. But thanks for stopping by, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and have a good one.